it wasn't for my dad, I actually wouldn't be here. And I don't mean due to the obvious reasons. I mean because he found me when I passed out. Knocked out as I hit my head on the TV stand, choking on my own sick. You know, the funny thing about that night, my dad hadn't taken his usual dose of sleeping tablets, so he heard me when I fell hard as he hit the deck. But obviously, I don't remember any of this. To be honest, the first thing that I remember is waking up in the hospital. And if you ask me why I did it and was it a cry for help, well, clearly I didn't think that I could be helped. At 14, I didn't even think about killing myself. Well, I don't think I did. The only thing I remember is that feeling of, I just don't want to be here. Everything felt so intense. I felt like I couldn't keep up with it. I suppose then, that was the time I experienced my first episode of severe depression. I was under a child psychologist, a lovely Jewish man that used to tell me to count to 10 purple elephants just before he was having a bad thought or that I was going to get angry or worry about something. I'm not sure why elephants. Or why purple? But he was so lovely, I didn't have the heart to tell him that it didn't work. <laughs> so I used my acting skills to good effect. And then when I got to 16, though, I just became really self-obsessed, if I'm honest. I was out every weekend and I didn't think there was anything wrong with me. I'd forgotten about the overdose and the fact that there could be something wrong with my mind. I was just all or nothing. But that's okay, isn't it? 